Ntefe. Ntefe, what do you want? Ogini? Can I have a word with you? I do not have anything to say to you. No, no. You don't have to say anything. Just listen. Oh, please. <laughs> Thank you. Tefe, I am tired of fighting over nothing in this house. And who has time to fight with you? Please, Mama, I have been busy taking care of my children. I do not have your time. But you said you would listen. That doesn't make me dumb. Won't I speak anymore? <laughs> oh. When my husband... Point of correction. Our husband. Sorry. Our husband. When he was told to get another wife, he vehemently refused. But I persuaded him to. So he would not be tagged impotent or sterile. Initially, he refused. But later, he accepted on the condition that it would be my choice. <laughs> mm. So I told myself, rather than let him bring in a stranger, I will pick a friend who had become a sister over the years. Tefe, I chose you. For I thought we had an understanding. I believe. Eh, eh. What is all this rubbish? Listen, Wama, if this is the rubbish you have come to feed my ears with this evening, then count me out. I am not interested. Did I beg you that I was looking for a husband? Mm -mm. Did I come to this house to drag Obidike with you? Mba. You begged me. He begged me. And I accepted. Bam! I got pregnant. Bam, bam, bam. Everybody saw how potent, potent his manhood is. So what is your problem? You should be very thankful to me for removing shame from this family. Ntefe, I am thankful. But I also want my friends back. Eh, eh. What do you mean by that? Please, I am not here for friendship. I am here for marriage. So if you are done spitting inside my food, you might as well leave my presence. What is all this? Eh? Leave! What is this? Go! Okay? Go! Go! I said, go! Eh, eh. In a are you daft? See this woman, no? I said, leave! Tears flow. <laughs> For as long as the gods decide to humiliate me with childlessness. <laughs> huh. 
You are my first love. The wife of my youth. Mm. I do not care about your childlessness. I don't. I love you. <laughs> my husband. You may not care. <laughs> it may mean nothing to you. <laughs> but in Tefe, our children and even your family, they will never let me forget my misfortune. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Please. Tomorrow. I we will go in, in search of the strongest Tibia. So that he can make herbs. Please. My husband. The problem is not in the herbs, but in my destiny. For more than five years. I have taken herbs to no avail. Okwaya, please, leave me, let me cry. Maybe the gods will hear the pleadings of my soul and open my womb. <laughs> It is good to see that you are in good health. May the gods be praised, Mama. The gods be praised. <laughs> hey. Mama? No. Welcome. Ntefe. Mama. What is keeping us from having more children? Remember, there is no male child in this family yet. Mama, don't worry yourself. Very soon, <laughs> my boys will arrive. I just wanted to rest my waist a little. Very, very soon, Nkodia, bam, bam, bam. You will be shocked. My daughter, <laughs> have your children and the rest. At least, you are fatter. Unlike those people who just want to occupy space in this compound. Soon, I will show them their way out. Very good. I hope they are not disturbing you. Eh? Mama, would they ever stop but trust your daughter-in-law? I go Kambono. I am a lioness. I go. No, no more. Eh, no. No, no. I go for Mama. Hello. Welcome, my husband. My husband. Welcome. Eh, you go. I got this. Hey. Hello. Thank you. Hey, you. Hey, come here. Mama, if you don't talk, don't eat. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Those who don't walk, don't eat. <laughs> oh, yeah, where? Oh yeah. Love you, love you. My father will eat and be fluent. Oh, 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 oh,
My husband. The way you beat her is not good. You could have given her a permanent injury. Yeah. One more. Hmm? You're a good woman. Do you think that Ntefe would have been bothered or concerned if the case was the reverse? It does not matter. What is good is good. Huh? I agree. I agree. I'm sorry if I upset you by that. I apologize. But the truth is, I did not beat her to hurt her. Mm. I just wanted to scare her. Mm -hmm. hmm? I'm sorry. It's okay. So, um, where is Ntefe? She's still at your parents' place. Mm -mm. So, who's taking care of her children? Uh -uh. I am surprised you should ask me such a question. I already fed them this night. Or are they not also my children? Hey. Hmm. <laughs> Amma, you are a good woman. Now I know that the gods intentionally blessed me with a good woman. Amma. But the only thing that I ask them for is that they open your womb so that you can have children of your own. He said. And it will be so. He said. <laughs> <laughs> My husband. So, huh? will you sleep here last night? <laughs> Did you intend to kill her? Did you ever see me beating your mother like this? Papa, can I talk? Talk, let me hear. Okay. Papa, you asked a question and asked if I have ever seen you beat Mama. The truth is, no. I never did. But I also have not seen or heard Mama insult or disrespect you. Before this incident, ask Ntefe here if I have ever raised my hand against her. Ask her if I am lying. So, why did you do this? Papa, Mama came to my house my home, my compound and disrespected me. My wife, Ntefe, who I paid dowry on her head, joined Mama in disrespecting me. That's it. What did she do, Rock? I was the one who gave her the bread. Mama, you gave her the bread and she accepted it. You took bread that I bought and shared equally amongst my wives. You took the one from the senior wife and gave to Ndefe. She accepted it. Then she went ahead to mock her senior wife. In my presence, Papa. That barren thing inside there is not a wife. Papa, can you hear? Mama, continue. Continue insulting me and disrespecting me, and I'll continue beating in Ntefe. You dare not touch her again. Papa, can you hear that? Dare not. Can you hear the language? Dare not. Mama, no problem. I kill your wife. It's your wife. She has her people. Shut up, Mbwe. You no, know, he is your only son. You know he will do whatever he says. I buy you henceforth from entering this house uninvited. Leave Obidike alone to run his home in peace. 
nine. How can you ban me from seeing my grandchildren? Yes. Because you always cause problems when you come. What did you say? A man who does not eat the fruit of patience when dealing with women dies before his time. To have patience is to have the world. Do you hear me? Thank you, Papa. I'm, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Go. Just go. <laughs> go. Huh? What is wrong? <laughs> My eyes. What is wrong with your eyes? Sand entered in exactly the same place you beat me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. But you know I don't like it when you are like that. I'm sorry, my husband. I won't do it again. And I'm sorry for hitting you. I shouldn't have done that. Okay? I'm sorry. See? Your senior wife and I will go to the farm. You can stay at home and rest. Don't worry, I can manage. Now that you have touched my eyes, the pains are gone. Ah, uh -uh. am I a doctor? Yes, you are. You are my doctor. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm not. You are not going anywhere. You are not going anywhere. Ntefe, uh Ntefe, -huh. what kind of madness has overtaken you this night? The same madness that has made you refuse to quench the fire in between my ties. What stupid fire? What stupid fire, Ntefe? It is your senior wife's turn to be in my room this week. You had your turn last week. Nice. I was sick last month. And for a week, I was alone like an ostracized sacrificial goat unfit for eating. Oh, Bilike, no one will ever cheat me for what is rightfully mine. I can't be cheated at. Ntefe. Oh, did I remember our husband was with you, though you were ill. Ifriya, on Apuginonu, our husband was with me, but he always sneaks out to come and be with you. Are you going to deny that? Oh, but can speak the truth. Were you not sneaking out to come and be with her? Did you touch me? I am not listening to whatever you're saying. You will come with me and perform your husbandly duties, whether you like it or not. My husband, <laughs> she can have my week, even the next, so that peace will reign. Oh? Are you happy now? Are you happy? My husband, my husband, uh, husband of mine. You seem not to understand what is happening. Recently, my body hungers for you uncontrollably. And it's a sign. A sign that a boy is about to come. I will take him and give you toys. Boys for that matter. Bam bam. You will be a proud man. I don't want to see you anywhere near my room. Keep away. I think. I think I'm a sick. Oh, you are a liar. Come and give me my voice. Oh. You must give me my voice. Now, what are you talking about? You're not going anywhere. I don't, I don't know what else to do. I, I, I don't. Okay. Um, don't give up hope like this, you know? Uh, don't give up hope like this. Um, only this native doctor, you know, very popular native doctor. I want to take it to him. She is tired of taking herbs. If you know what has gone into her mouth, 
You go to Eh, uh, but can you go do for this native doctor? Careful near first. Or if it doesn't work, then we know what to do next. But can you want now? No. 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 What essence is my existence when I have nothing to show for it? A body I have become to a man who gave his heart to me. A man I made a laughing stock of before. <laughs> before Ntefe saved us. Empty my womb, I've been. So why should I occupy space when another has proven capable? I would rather die than be the burden that would debar his chance of having a son to carry on his name. <laughs> No. Ma! What are you doing? What are you doing? I wanted to hit my head on the rock and just die. And what will you achieve by killing yourself and allowing Ntefe have the glory? Oh wow. I am tired and I don't care anymore. Hmm? I thought you had more spirit in you than this. That means you can't even carry the child you're so desperately looking for. Who said so? I am a strong woman and I can carry a child. Wonderful. But you can't ignore taunts from your mates. Mama, what if I had not seen you the moment I did? What would we be saying now? Please, my friend, I am sorry. Hmm? Can you keep this a secret between us? And who will I discuss such a stupid matter with? Thank you. Look, you must be strong. You must not allow this woman get to you. Your child will come. When will it come? You must believe. Yes, I cannot believe for you. You are the one with the need. So you must believe and never give up hope. <laughs> you just spoke like my husband. Mm -hmm. He is sensible. I believe. I hear you. <laughs> That's better. Ma, let's leave this place. See, I'm going to confirm something with my mother and I'll get back to you. But let's leave this place. I hear you. elephant grass from now to tomorrow it will never become a lemon grass it will never give what it doesn't have okay. 
in the fair. Be careful. This world is not benevolent to anyone. What have I said wrong now? I have only spoken the truth. Okay. My lord, mm -hmm. you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Obidike, I salute you. Ah, Owa, wife of my very good friend, Ojiogo. How are you? You came to see your friend? Yes, I'm on my way home. Oh, oh. Make sure you greet my very good friend. Hmm? You were here. My lord, I will see you soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Shia! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Why you? Why you? Go near my home. Why you? Tap on my cash. Open it, go get a melee. Oh, is a melee? What have I done wrong to you in this house? You should always respect me because I am that tree that has given you fruits. Unlike this, your barren witch of a wife. Oh, sense. Mm -hmm. It's bitter. Do, do not throw up. The man said you should not throw up. Take. Hmm. When it is bitter, that means it is very potent. Think about your children. Hmm. Eh? The first one, drink it for some. Mm -hmm. Drink. Hey. Do not throw up. Mm. Drink your second song. Mm. Second. Third. Third daughter. Second daughter. Finish it, finish it. Oh! Do not throw up. Do not throw up. Hey, my good wife. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry. Let me go and take my bath. Freshen up. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Uh, I'll come back. Uh, so when you rest a little, lie down. When I come, I'll hold you. <laughs> yeah? You know you took something, you can now. So come and give me sweets. Rest of it. Gods of our land, you will see all we do. Please, accept my sacrifice as you have done many times in the past. And open my womb so I can have a child like my fellow women. Please, just one child and my wounds will be healed. Please protect my household and give us food. Let me advise you, Wama. You were first to be married into this compound and you could not have a child. I was married in and I've had four children and you are still offering sacrifices. Don't you understand that a barren womb is barren and no amount of sacrifice can ever open it. So I would advise that you stop wasting your time offering sacrifices to the deity because your womb is empty. A barren woman you are and a barren woman you shall remain. Why do you speak as if you are the deity of the earth or the heavens? Why do you mock a fellow woman because the gods chose to favor you first? Without Uma, would you have been married? Are you not from the lineage of sinners? 
yet she chose you. And for that, you should be grateful. Oh, please, it's enough. I did not come here to quarrel. But you did. Yes, you did. You brought this thing to shame me with words like you have been shamed by life. Da! You have failed. An offspring of a slave. So? I am that slave girl that became a queen in the home of a king. Kill yourself. Great deity of my husband's household. Thank you for making my womb fruitful. Four girls to bless my husband's home you have given. I appreciate. Please, I need a boy. I need two, three, or even five to shame my enemies. My womb is really unfertile. I need a boy so that my enemies will not mock me. Thank you, because I know that you would do it for me, as always. Just leave this place. It's getting late. Let's leave this place. Please. Your heart is so heavy with gloom and sadness. You whom they call barren. What exactly do you desire from the gods? They know it already, but they want you to say it with your mouth. I desire a child. Just one child. Wait. The gods say that the greater of the heavens did not create you to have children of your own. But rather, you are to take care of other people's children. No, 
That is your destiny. No. Please. 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 I'm only a mouthpiece from the gods. And I have spoken as directed. Oh. Oh. <sighs> My husband. So you still insist you not go with me to my room to lay with me? What difference does laying with you every day make my husband? To what end is the seed if it sprouts no shoot at the expected time? Then the farmer will replant the seed when another season comes. How can the seed thrive when the earth is poisoned? Hmm. An effort in futility. Leave me be husband of mine. Are you going to leave your husband in the cold embers of this night? A man who has two fireplaces complains not of where to place his pot. OBTK, my body yearns for you, but my soul is in a place where. <sighs> Good night, my husband. Good night. Very strong man, the lion himself. You're too strong. Hey, my husband, the way you handled me all night, you deserved it all day. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Tell me what you want. Anything. Anything. Oh, I will kill you, Mommy. My husband. Good morning. <laughs> what and what do you want to eat? <laughs> well, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, take care. Don't lie on himself. <laughs> that is wrong. No woman should deprive her husband. You're pushing him into the arms of that witch. <laughs> Oh, wow. And Tefe is not a witch. Mm -hmm. Yes. She's like every other woman who had never been given an opportunity, but now wants everything. And you intend to let her? <sighs> Does a man who has no kin, no hooks, no nets, boast that he would win in a fishing competition? 
Please, leave interfere. Something else bothers me. Hmm? What? Yes, my son. Yes. Kill me. Kill me, OPGT. I will die for you. I will die for the fall of my daughters. Give me a son. Give me a son, Lord. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, me. It is always the same river. The same river. What do you think? I have heard stories about that river. You have? Yes. Some say the river was never there. That it was invited by some powerful priests to bring peace to the seven villages that make up this town. So it's a deity. If you want to call it that, but this story is over a hundred years old. I don't think anyone worships or pays supplication to it anymore. Its last priestess passed on over 50 years ago. Yes. So it's a female deity. Yeah. How would I know? But you seem to know so much about it. Rumor. <laughs> <laughs> I also heard that some years ago, bandits raided Umudim. A child and a pregnant woman were killed in that raid. No. The villagers gave chase. The bandits almost escaped. <laughs> but, but what? The bandits drowned in the river. What's so strange about that? Eh? Twelve of them. And it was the height of the dry season. The water was not above anyone's knee. So, the river goddess killed them? Yes. It is said it was because the life of children were taken. Very strange. Sure you want to do this? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> oh goddess of the river. <laughs> Benevolent and beautiful one. I come to you as I am. <laughs> they have called me barren. They have taunted me and made mockery of me. 
because of my childlessness. <laughs> you two are a woman with the desires of motherhood built in you. <laughs> Please. Please give me a child. Just one child. So I can feel the bliss of a child growing within me. <laughs> and the pain of birthing. <laughs> and the bliss of breastfeeding. <laughs> Beautiful and benevolent one, I beg of you. <laughs> Please give me a child. <laughs> Please give me a child. I beg of you, I beg of you, I beg of you. Please give me a chance. Please give me a chance. Please give me a chance. Just one, just one. Please give me a chance. Just one child to take the real man. I come, bearer of the water pressure. I come, the God's thunder trumpet at the water gates. I come, who scrapes no egg down from her feet. I have come once again in seed time. Come to me, Emma. Come that I may fulfill seed time in you. Who am I that the goddess of the river should visit her humble abode? Your supplication at the riverside evoked ancient maternal emotions that have lived dormant for years. Listen, Emma, the great creator of the universe and the maker of the heavens did not create you to have a child of your own, of course, for obvious reasons. The native doctor told me so. Very well. But because of the passionate appeal you made at the riverside today, we have decided to give you two children, a male and a female. I am humbled, my goddess of the river. But beware, the children will be a source of pain and sadness to you because you will cry and mourn them while you live but when the time comes you will laugh and be comforted 
Do you accept the conditions? I accept any condition, my goddess. Peace unto you. I'm worried. Why? You want to perform a ritual that you were told to do in a dream? Or was it a vision? Are you sure you want to do this? Do what? Two carries was all she asked I throw into the river, besides feeding the motherless. Is that so much for one who wants her womb blessed? No, it is not. Oh. Oh, oh that means it's a twin. <laughs> Two boys. Oh, I wait till the children come first. I have not seen one. You are talking of two. I'm waiting. Thank you. Let's go. Mama. My husband. What is the problem? Nothing. Mama, you say nothing. Yet I saw you at the backyard for a meeting. Please tell me. What is the problem? What is happening to you? My husband. She's pregnant. Hmm? Ask her. Are you pregnant? She's pregnant. Hey! Finally pregnant. Yes, father. That's good. Mm -hmm. Mwere, mm -hmm. 
you now see that no matter how long the night may be, the day must surely break. Oh, if I Assuming she delivers our very desired male child. What face will you use to go for Mugo? Of someone you so much hated? No. I never hated her. I was only doing the needful. You really have lost your shame. My son. Yes, Papa. Take care of Mama. I will, Papa. Make sure she does not put herself through stress. Seeing that this is her first pregnancy. Okay, Papa. No, I'm deceived. I'm going to go for What are you doing? I thought I told you to stop all domestic uh, work till you, you put to bed. Makagini, why won't she do her own portion of the domestic work? Who will do it for her? Eh? Ntefe, can't you see her condition? And so what? Is she the first woman to be pregnant? Don't I carry my own pregnancies to do my own domestic works? But it is her first pregnancy. Upe! Onafio, she is carrying the son of God in her womb. I know if I be Do I sense jealousy? <laughs> jealousy? Of who? This one? Obulago? Listen, let me tell you. I have carried four pregnancies. Yes! Why should I be jealous of her? Tell her to stop being lazy. Let her do her work. Okay? My husband. Biko. Let me continue sweeping. Oh, that is how she goes about telling everyone in the village that because I'm pregnant, I can't even bathe myself. Mm. Don't, it's enough, it's enough. My lord, Biko, I must finish sweeping. Oh, mm -mm. Mm -mm. then I'll go to my farm. The weeds are overgrowing my crops. You will do no such thing. Hmm? I will get laborers to clear your farm. Hmm? You know go. You see, when I was pregnant, I go to the farm all by myself and I do my farm work diligently. Never for one day have you provided laborers for me to help me in my farm. Now you want to provide for her. Are you not being wicked and partial? What kind of a husband are you? Ntefe. Ntefe. Shut up. Shut up. I should Ntefe. shut up. What if I refuse to shut up? I'm marrying Ginti. I'm more one Ginti. No, 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 my husband, please. 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 If I. If I. I'm not going to. Ban. Bazi Kamfu. Dinta. Ba. Come. Eh, we. I'm going to. 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 I'm I don't want to give you to the end of the day. I don't want to give you to the end of the day. In this house, I'm going to give you to the end of the day. I'm going to give you to the end of the day. What are you looking for? I, I left a bucket of water here. I already took you to the bathroom. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and you don't have to thank me before someone will call me a witch. Ah, nobody will call you a witch. Mm. It's all right. When you're done, you let me know. So I can serve you the pounded yam and unsala soup I made for you. That is if you will eat my food. No, I will eat. Thank you. Let me go and take my bath. Mm. 
You abandoned me for days. Why? Forgive me, my sister. I had to visit my sister in Onicha. She has not been feeling too well. Oh, sorry. How is she feeling now? Mm, better. She sends her greetings. <laughs> and how are the twins? All twins. I'm <laughs> serious. <laughs> Oh, my sister. So you agree with me that it's a twin she will have. Hey, <laughs> how are you? Thank you. I made your pap light just the way you like it. Thank you. This is fine. Hey, do you want me to fry bean cake? No, this is fine. Please let me know if you need anything. I'm at your service. <laughs> Keep it here. I don't want you to stress yourself. Oh. Don't stress our unborn baby. What I got? Hey. What was that? What is that? Pa, don't start. Don't start what? You're climbing a tree that is on fire, and you said I shouldn't worry. Wow. She has been really nice to me. Making food and... And Guinea. Hey! Come on. Do you have a death wish? There's nothing to worry about. Hmm? Do you want some pap? You and who? Mazio Bidike! Huh? Oh, Guinea, oh, Guinea, oh, Guinea. Your wife. Eh? Huh? My wife. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. Your wife just gave birth. Hey! Calm down. To a girl. Hey! No, I'm not finished. Sorry, oh. sorry. Eh? Hey, but she's okay. And the boy. Hey! Two. A boy and a girl. Yes, yes, yes. Hey! 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 Where are you going? I'm going home to take a change of clothes. I will be back before you know it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey. has suddenly become the center of attraction in this house. Everybody's not going to her. How? Oh. Even Mama. Mama has abandoned me for her. I don't blame them. After all, she has given them a meal that is desperately needed in this household. Ntefe. Ntefe. This is your life. 
four girls, four, four girls, and none is appreciated. Just because one man just had one. Oh, for one I'm like an outcast in my own husband's house because of this barren witch. Ow! Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Alele, alele. 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 You are happy. Thank Kusebulua for his benevolence. Your joy makes the face of my water ripple. For a river that ripples is not there. Your happiness you must let linger, like your pain will. But before sunset, your joy will return. Do you want to use the fireplace? No. Where is Owa? She went home to get a change of cloth. What do you want to cook? Hot water to baste the twins. Don't worry. I will boil the water for you. And if she's not back, I will bait the twins. I are you sure you want to do this? Yes. I want to. The truth is that... I haven't treated you nicely as a friend for a very long time and I know that is very bad. Please, I just wish we can stop all this fight. I don't want to fight you too. I understand. I was just worried when you didn't come to see my twins. I was so ashamed. I was so ashamed of myself. I have wronged you, my friend. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> and you believed her? Ma. Have you lost your mind? Oh, wow. I am tired. I now have my own children. So what am I still dragging? That. That your co-wife or whatever you call her will take your life this second if she gets the opportunity. Stop it, Uwa. Stop it. You're taking this too far. Don't forget she was my friend before she became a co-wife. <laughs> She just felt out of place with the kind of love my husband showered on me. Like every woman, she went on the defensive. She has apologized. She was even crying. Crocodile says, the witch cries the most the night after killing the child. And as far as I am concerned, she's a witch. Wow. Yeah.
My husband. I need to resume work on my farm. Mama. Dear Mama. I thought I promised you that I'll get laborers to till the land for you, didn't I? Yes, I remember you said so. But, dear Mama, I am strong enough to go and work on my farm. Hmm? Moreover, I'll take the twins with me, so you don't need to be worried. Oh? Mm. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? I am sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you know I am accepting because I know that anytime we have an argument, you must win. The mama, I win because you allow me to win. Mm. My husband, you worry so much. Mm. I won't stay long. Okay, but if you are late, mm. I'll come and look for you. <laughs> I won't stay long. <laughs> Don't miss me too much. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> take care of the twins, Obinna and Obinna. Nothing, nothing should bite them, not even a small ant. At all, nothing will happen to them. Hmm? I promise. <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, make sure you give them food. I will. Hmm? What else? What? That page. That page. Hey.
My son, any success? No, Mama. 
No. What did you do to my grandson with the sister? Mama, why will you ask me such a question? Would I have my own children? <laughs> Would I? What sort of stupid question is that? Nonsense. Woman, contain your tongue. My daughter. Papa. Is there anything you want to tell us about the children? Nothing you say here will be used against you. We all make mistakes. Papa, I swear. Even the gods bear me witness. I did not have my children. I you know. Mama. I asked her. Mama. Mama. Tell me truthfully. How did you get pregnant? My husband. I. Mama. Mama, did you lay with another man? <gasps> May the earth take my life slowly and horribly if I did. <laughs> the children are yours, Obidik, <laughs> my husband. They are yours. <laughs> Papa, my son. Papa, I'm tired. I'm tired. I am tired. <sighs> <sighs> Which? Peace, my child. Peace. <laughs> Except the sun drops to the earth and dies tomorrow. Will they not be found? Peace. <laughs> Please, don't try it ever again. Don't. I don't want to disrespect you, but I swear, if you ask me such stupid question again, I will slap you. Ogonna, you will slap me. Why? You open your God-given tongue to say that you will slap me, your mother. God forbid. You, my mother. This woman, please leave me alone. What's going on here? What happened? Who is threatening you in your father's house? No one is threatening her in her father's house in Tefe. Calm down. Nobody is quarreling. Budele, did I talk to you when I got here? I was talking to my daughter. Or, oh, hmm. is it wrong for those that can have children to talk to her children? No, ma. What is going on here? Mama, can you imagine? Mama Ijima just accused me of stealing her water pots. Break. Not still. First of all, don't you know your mother? And where are the twins you are attaching to some people? Did you touch her pot? No. Did you break the pot she uses for her witchcraft? Mama, I did not touch any of her belongings. I did not. She did not touch your pot. 
So please, look for somewhere else and put your blood-sucking teeth. If she insists she didn't, so be it. But I saw her when she broke my pot. And I was waiting for her to come forward and tell me. But she couldn't. Obviously, I also know you will deny saying you will slap me. Are you deaf? Added to your blindness. She said she did not touch your pot. When an adult behaves like a child, children will insult her. She did. Uh-uh. Ogo, she told me. Why are you lying, Ada? Are you mad? Hey, some people can be parrots. How can you force her to accept something she did not do? You are very stupid. First wife, leave my children alone. Ah, let's go, my daughter. <laughs> Mami Ijima, ah, don't let your mother hear you call me that. What will she do? As much as she hates it, you are also our mother. And yes, you did have twins. Yes, I did. I did. A beautiful boy and a girl. <sighs> Enough of an old woman's tail, which lingers permanently on the tip of her tongue. Why have you not gone back to school? My mother says she does not have any money now. Money what? What does she do with all the money she gets from the oil meal? And anyway. I'll raise money for you to go back to school. No, Mama. Don't worry. I'll be fine. You spend all the money you make on me. Let my mother go and hustle and pay my school fees. Hustle? Why? Don't worry. I'll do that. Oh? Am I not also your mother? <laughs> no, Mama. You're my mother. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome, my daughter. Let me go before she Mami Jima. Mami Jima. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> yes. I made a salad. No! Okay. Let me go and come back. Are you sure? <laughs> Who did this? Who did this? In cafe. In cafe, why? Why in cafe? Why is your heart so darkened with hate? Why are you calling my name? How could you drop my clothes on the ground? Even if they were dried? Couldn't you have packed them and kept them by the side? What stupid question. Okay, I'll, I'll answer you. See, did I touch your clothes? No. Even if your clothes were dry, couldn't common sense, I mean, if you even have anyone, because the sense is not even common. Couldn't that your stupid sense tell you to come and pack them? Why did you leave them there? Are they supposed to be there? Were you expecting me to use these beautiful hands to pack those rocks? As again, or your slave, or yama? Never. See, if those your breaking bone servants or breaking bones friends are not available, don't you call my name. Don't shout at me! I regret letting you into my family. Yeah. I have tried over these years to make excuses for your venomous vileness, your hate-filled heart, and the empty space your soul should be. Ntefe, you deprived me of everything. My happiness, 
my joy, my husband. You killed my husband with your poison. You will suffer the good I wish you. Is it what you say? I killed your husband. You are a witch. Hey! Witchcraft! You are a witch! You want witchcraft? You are a witch! Do your work. Be witch! Do your work. Be. You want witchcraft? I will suck your blood. Let me do your work. Do your work! You are a witch! You're a witch! You're a witch! You're a witch! Do your work! You're a witch! You're a witch! You're a witch! You're a witch! Witch, come out! Come out! Let us deal with it. Come outside! What is she Come out! Come out now! Come out! Do you want to beat your father's wife? That barren witch was no wife to her father. Mm. Old man, please step out of the way. Mm? This has nothing to do with you. If she has finished with your crooked legs, why not go to your house and die in peace? Do not have respect. You are not trained at all. You are very stupid. Who is this one? From which madhouse did they release you from? You are obviously their mother. A fruit does not fall far from the tree. You are a madman. I know your type. You sneak into a compound pretending to break something. The only thing you end up breaking is the little snake in between your legs. Stupid man. Mazay Jemba, please, don't be offended. Please, I apologize on behalf of my children. <laughs> Are you sure you'll be alright? I'll be fine. I have survived this for more than 20 years. Why not move in? Or marry her so we can rest? Yes. I pity the men that will marry you people. I pity the Sabbath church that unchained you. You miserable man. And you, you have the guts to bring in your boyfriend in this house to come and fight my children. Is that it? Ntefe, rest. Mama, why can't we beat her up? Hey, leave her. Don't touch her. Life is beating her already. When it's tired, it will take the life off her. Stupid woman. Sorry, you'll be fine. Sorry. Mama, it is ready. I have dropped it here. Is there any other thing you want me to do before I go in? Nothing more, my child. You've done enough for the day. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ma. Madam, this your daughter is beautiful. And I saw some others too. Young man, I'm sure you're not here to look at my daughter. You do well to focus on your healing while you're here. Stop looking at my daughters. Hush! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <sighs> Take it. It's still to be bad. It's bitter. To look at my daughters, it will be bitter. It's bitter. Drink it. Is she back yet? No. 
She said I should look after it if she returns. Interesting. Look after me. I like the sound of that. So, besides these bitter herbs, how else do you intend to look after me? Please, sir. Drink your medicine so I can go back to what I was doing. See, why are you behaving like a child? I like you. I told you that before. I'm ready to take care of you. If it's money, that, that's not a problem. You insult me, sir. This is not a short time hotel. Hotel? Would I offer you 50,000 naira cash now if you were that cheap? When you're ready, you take your medicine. Stupid man. You're still mom. Like I should. I gave them life. They sucked my breast. Not enough to. Brought light to my husband's eyes like never before. Never got to call me mother. But I still love them. And I love them still. I have waited for 25 years for the rise of the moon that you promised that will rise over the darkness that engulfs me. Do you tire to wait? Does your tears drown you with each salt in that you've forgotten how to swim? I have waited for my womb to be cooled by your waters. Sit! Planted by the Creator Himself. I will wait. I will wait. How could you talk to him just like that? What was I supposed to tell him? He wanted to pay me as if I were a prostitute. He was just being nice. And how many men would give 50,000 naira to a woman just like that? What are you saying? Adanna, you are not a child. And since you have decided to hang around that woman, then make use of every opportunity you get. as if your chi has denied you of what it has. What is the problem? Mama, let us sleep now. Come, be sure you must What are you doing? What are you doing? Get out of her mouth. Ntefe. Okay, then. Are you blind? Are you deaf? What is your problem? Ntefe. Warn your daughters. If a man don't go see, my house is not a brothel. What is she talking about? You don't know. You don't know. If a man, you said you don't know. When I caught you and your sister almost naked on top of that hill goat in there. He yeah? has his boyfriend now. Yes, he is. Since when? Where do you know him from? Boyfriend. Ntefe. Tell your daughters to keep away from the men that come to make their broken bones in my house. You people should stop giving this family a bad name. You people should stop spoiling the name of this family. This is not the first time I would warn you. I swear. It is the last. Is that why you're threatening my children in their father's house? Anyone that hears you scream would think 
that my children stole your womb. Why are you shouting? I interfered. And this is the answer you give to the path these children have chosen. Thank you. Come again. A dog on heat should also be prepared to face the shame in the public. Mama, please, I am sorry. It's my fault. I made the mistake of telling them that the man offered me money. I should have known they would do this. Please forgive me, Mama. It's okay. It's not your fault, my daughter. Your chi and theirs walk different paths. It's okay. Madam. I'm sorry about what happened. Swallow that tongue of yours before Amadio her claims your dark soul. Please leave my house. But my leg is not healed yet. See, if it's the money that... If I come out here and meet you again, you will return to your father's house a cripple. He goes. Me. Mama, well done. Ah, ah da. <laughs> Let me help you. No, 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 no. I knew you were going to say that. Don't worry. I'm almost done. Hmm? Are you sure? You said I should come when I am done. Yes, I did. <laughs> Mama. What is this for? Ah, ah, da. You said your school fees is a hundred and twenty thousand naira. In there is a hundred and thirty-five thousand naira. That is all I could raise during the short period of time. Hmm? And what is it? Why are you crying? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mama. They did what? No. I can take it. Mama, no, 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 no. Ada, relax, just relax. Let me handle this. Hmm? And you, I will give you for. Do you want to eat it <laughs> Just take. <laughs> Make sure you eat it. Uh, why, 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 did, why did you stretch your hand? Will you shamelessly return that girl's money to her? What is she talking about? <laughs> no, no. It is obvious you took the money. First, you refused to pay her school fees. Even though you took everything that belonged to my husband, now you steal the money that I gave her for the same thing you failed to provide. Have you no shame? Have you no fear? To walk up to a woman who removed shame from this lineage by at least bearing children. This woman, you're chewing more than you can swallow and I assure you, it will choke you. Leave! Are you begging her? This thing has gotten too much. But it will end today. Madam, just go before you receive sense through a backhand. Eh, 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 leave her. A sacrificial goat thinks itself invisible until the festival of its deity comes calling. Is she your child? No. No. So what do you want? The money I gave to her. The money I labored for. Something you know nothing about. 
Did I beg you to become a laborer? No. Did I beg you to give my daughter money? No. So what is your business if she doesn't go to school? Let me ask again. Is she your child? No. No. Even if I steal the money, how is it your business? First wife, I beg you, leave me and my children alone. That money you gave to her to lure her into your witchcraft or juju, it will not work. Leave my children alone. A thief always has a person. And a witch always has an excuse. My children need granola for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My children, oh. Somebody stay on your own. Mind your business. Mm -hmm. Take mm -hmm. my children, oh. <laughs> oh, take <laughs> my children. Beautiful children. Welcome, sir. When well, my son told me we were coming to this village, little did I know I was coming to my benefactor's house. Oh. <laughs> welcome, Maz. Uh, you are welcome. Thank you, Ma. Oh. Mm. Is she the one? She's so beautiful. No, sir. My younger sister. I never knew you had daughters. Hey, baby. Hey, my darling. <laughs> Oh, I'm fine. Hi, in love. In love. In love. Hey. I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> Let's go inside. Come inside here. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with this one? Ntefe, I think you should shut your tongue at least for today. If you had shame, I would have answered you. But you are shamelessly shameless. Hugo, take this your stinking wretched lover inside. Ah, <laughs> oh, my in law. Please let's go inside. There are there are things I don't really want you to see around here. Have you seen an America Bobo before? He came to marry one of my daughters. I would rather die than to have my son marry any of your children. Hold on, baby. Is he your father? That is my father. I know, it may be possible. Look at you. There's no resemblance. This man is too ugly to be called one's father. Excuse me, madam. I will not stand here and have you insult my father. They've not even started. This is the same family I told you. Insulted me. I wanted to beat me up when I was being treated by this kind hearted woman. Jesus, I never knew. No, no, yes, stay, hold on. We can no, talk no, no, about no, no, no. this. In law. There's nothing to talk about. In law. There's absolutely nothing it's just to talk about. To In law. We can talk yes. about this. No? Maybe, You have done your worst. And now you will hear from me. You will beg for death in this house. Sister, what are you still doing here? Am I standing on your head? Am I not this? This woman is a witch. She's a witch. I am tired of waiting. I am tired. I want you to kill her. I want her dead. 
That's why I came. <laughs> Is that all? What else will bring me here? I want you to kill her. Let her die. <laughs> it's all right. I've heard you. But I have a question. Question of what? Can't it wait? Can't the question wait? Will you answer me or not? Okay. I will. Good. Can any man kill the earth? Oh, now you're confusing me more. Why, 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 what kind of question is this? Why are you asking me this? What is this? Can this earth, which we all stand on, live on, take our final journey in, die? No. So if you still want us to take her life, then you will help me discover the secret to killing the earth. Obidike the Great, husband of my youth, the words given to the undeserving is like watering of rock that bears no fruit. It's been too long, my wife. Too long. Mm. <laughs> A year and five days, my husband. I count each passing day that my children, our children are gone from this house. A year and five days since my heart was ripped out of my body. <laughs> Do I deserve to live? Am I still living? Huh? I love you, my flower. I love you. Do I deserve love? I lost our children. They leave. I know they leave. Oh. I wish I had your faith. 
I have enough faith for both of us. You want. And I yours. Mama, welcome. I thought you've left for school already. I was about to before they brought him, so I decided to stay back. My daughter, it's God that will bless you. Thank you, Mama. Hey, but what happened to him? The people that brought him said he was hit by a commercial cyclist. Relatives? He said he's not from around there. He was on his way going to Otto when it happened. But I've boiled a funa leaf. For him to drink so he can sleep and take the pressure off his leg. Ah, my daughter, you are learning this our work so fast. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Oma. So can I get you? No, 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 don't worry. Continue with what you are doing. Let me attend to him first then. Okay, Mama. Was Mama Nuku? Yes, I am. Your daughter couldn't stop talking about me. <laughs> She's a good girl. Yes, she is. How do you feel? Fine. The bone is not broken. By this time tomorrow, you'll be able to put pressure on it. Huh? Thank you. Sorry, excuse me, please. Hello, baby. So, so sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Sorry, I'm sorry. I just came down from the car to get banana. One crazy bike man from nowhere. Just like that. I'm safe. I'm safe. Mm. Mm -mm, you, you don't need to worry. Don't, don't, don't bother. Mm? I'm fine. I love you too, baby. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. She must be your wife. Not yet. Still working towards it. But I can't wait to. She's from Otu. The nice village. Otu. Ah, very good people. Yes. I'm from Otolo Hey. Business minded people. <laughs> They're very enterprising. Yes. But I choose meds. A doctor in my small room. <laughs> yes, you did a great job. Um, your parents, 
We lost them two years ago. But my siblings are abroad. Yeah. No, it's well. Um, the joy of every parent is to leave a legacy for their children. Hmm? Yes. It's well. You can now rest. Hmm? Okay. Yes. Mama, what is happening? I sincerely don't know. I woke up this morning to see him like this. I'll be fine. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Mama, please, I think we should take him to the hospital. And I relax. He has already called his wife. She's on her way. She'll be here. Just relax. Good afternoon, Ma. My daughter. Yes, ma. I'm looking for a certain bone mender. Oh, she's my mother. Oh. Are you here for Mr. Richard? Yes. Yes. I'm her fiance. <laughs> okay. Here, please. Mother. It is here. What is where? She is here. <laughs> what is going on? Was well, a promise not made? Was a promise not fulfilled? What is this? Eh? What has this witch done again? What is this? Was a promise not made? Was a promise not fulfilled? Was a seed not planted? Was a harvest not done? Were you not told? Were you not promised that the moon will light the darkness that seems to overwhelm you? Moon. No. It can't be. It can't be what? That you brought mad people into this compound? It can't be what? Were you not told? Some oh. warned you were that when the river returns to the sea, your darkness will become yours. Were you not one? Oh, she was. Yes, yeah, she saw to ground that which is one with the river. You saw the light of the day at the market, at the market of iniquity and darkness. Confess! Confess! Mother! They can't be alive! They can't be alive! Mother! Mother. Mother! Mother! I'll confess. 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 
Nay, my friend's husband needs a second wife. I want to be the one. Has he asked you to marry him? No. He does not even look at me as if I exist. But he asked my friend to choose. And you want to be the chosen one? Yes. I want him to accept me. And you say she is your friend? Is there a problem with that? No. Your wish is done. But his heart will never be yours. But will he desire me? Like fire to dry leaves. Children. I want to have children each time he touches me. No womb will be more fertile. Okoku kan ne kuwa juju kan julunuza. Watalia wo juanu. Ugili ne kone weze. Oku kan ne ku. I told virtually everyone against her. But not her husband. I was pregnant every year. But always gave birth to a baby girl. I had four girls in five years. And his love grew more for you. There is nothing to worry about. That is all you keep saying. Yet, my husband prefers to bed her. Did I tell you his seed will bring bountiful harvest from your womb? Yes, you did. Girls, I want a boy. It is bad enough that I breed every year like a rabbit and all I have to show for it is girls. What if she has a male child before me? Never. Her womb was made barren from the heavens. No child will suck her breast till the earth dies and the heavens fall. That is her destiny. And my husband, what if he marries another? My husband's mother is a witch. I might force him to after a while. Unless I am not uncling Kogodona da Ijoreyo, he won't. Are you pregnant? Hey! Are you pregnant? Hey! Hey! What's up, Luwa? What's up, Luwa? Hey! 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 Oh no! You know what? No rush! I will not. I will not. Hey! 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 She's pregnant! Hey! Hey! You said she would never be pregnant. In your words, that her womb had been made empty by the maker himself. Words from my mouth to the wearer. My ancestors were not plagued by blindness. I think you should look for other ancestors to consult. Because obviously, these ones are blind. Watch your tongue, child. Na inkirika. The woman is pregnant. Possible. You tell no more one and no more. 
Jeno obwa gidi gidi ni cheke ya michi. Jeno azwa bo. Jemili oba eje kute na ezogo ni hemeno yenata. Indeed she is. Hmm. The hand. The hand favored her. An old hand long forgotten made the withered tree fruitful. Obeisance, mother of the seven rivers that favor the unfavored. Is it a boy? I hope it is not a boy. The water is mocking. Hey! Come here, man. This is why. Why? Mother! I will talk. I will talk. As months went by, the pregnancy was progressing. I knew I had to do something. A male child will ruin everything for me. <laughs> I know it is a boy. And if the gods will it, two boys. <laughs> <laughs> Husband of mine. Mm -hmm. Don't be greedy. Hmm? Okay, what if it's a girl? Hmm. Hmm. If it is a girl, then OBDK, your husband, will sacrifice a big fattened cow to the gods for finally opening my wife's womb. Oh. Hmm? <laughs> but I know it is a boy. Because even the gods know that I desire and crave for a, a boy. boy. <laughs> <laughs> my husband. Hmm? May your desires come to pass. You say. You say. <laughs> hey. Hey, <whoa. laughs> I want her dead. I want her dead with that thing she carries inside her. Patience. Did you do what I asked you to do? Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Ha! This is your mamejima. <laughs> if it is, I hope you are ready to carry one. Why not? Yeah. But I will carry the two. <laughs> um, I need not to disturb you. I only came to know what you wanted. <laughs> um. <laughs> what? Uh, nothing. I'm just happy. I'm so excited. <laughs> My sister. Uh -huh. Very good. What would you like to eat? Um. Anything. Anything. Mm. You are overfeeding me. Uh -uh. Eh? I'm not my best. Are you not my sister? And my co-wife. 
you also my senior. So why would I not make you comfortable? It's my obligation. <laughs> so let me do it. <laughs> let me do it. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hi. <laughs> and I'm glad we're now friends. As always. So what I want to do now is to make you something very delicious. For you and our Omo Ejima. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I can't wait for the arrival of this <laughs> I cannot say the Never a good sign. The hand welding her destiny is of the water. You just confirmed my fears. So? We wait and watch. Your wife just gave birth. Hey! Calm down. To a girl. Hey! No, I'm uh, not finished. So, oh. Sorry. Uh, so, but she, she's okay. And the boy. Two. A boy and a girl. Crying will not change what is. What should I do now? She has a son. A son, Nai. She's not supposed to have a child or even get pregnant. Now that she has a son, the gods have been so unkind to me. Man dictates what he chooses. The gods dictate what should be. Now you have to help me. You have to help me. I can't bear this. Save me from this shame. Is there nothing to do? Is there nothing you can do to save me? Do something for me. Kill them. Poison their pap. Do something. Hear me, daughter. No mortal who wishes to live longer than the day, longer than the day he killed those children, will strive to do them harm. Nature can be allowed to cage their souls naturally. What exactly do you want? I want the twins dead. Why? What have the innocent children done? Innocent children, you said? Their coming has taken away the affection my husband has for me. More especially, as the only son in that family, he will inherit everything that my husband has. And my own children will go empty-handed. I cannot sit and watch that happen. Never. I see. Woman, your request cannot be granted. Nobody can kill those children or harm them, no matter how powerful. Why? Because of the source where they came from. But there is a solution. Please tell me, what is the solution? They must be taken to two different destinations where they can never return or reunite. Listen to me very carefully. If they ever return or reunite, you're going to lose everything or you lose your life. 
Do you hear what I said? I heard you clearly. I was told the same thing somewhere else. Now I have confirmed. I have no objection. Arrangements were made. And the children were stolen from the farm. I gloated for everything you were going through. And the pain you were going through. Obidike's mother's hatred for you made me so happy. I thought that Obidike's despair would bring him closer to me. When you moved out to the old house, I was very happy. You did a very good job. I did it. I told you that that cannot come from any mortal hands. My boys told them we are certain debt awards them. It is not in my place to ask for those children are dead. Nature will do the rest. I bet you that truly they were thrown into the evil forest. <laughs> Very good. Their death is sure. Mwah. Let's move to the next one. <laughs> the witch's bird is always thirsty. Are you calling me a witch? No. But day and night know themselves. What is next? Anyway, I want my husband to despise her worse than a leper. Is that all? For now. Remember you were accused for the disappearance of those children by Obidike's mother. I gave her reason to. You went to several places and you were told that your son's wife could never have children. That was why you put pressure on him to get another wife. I have never told anyone this. Your son's wife is half mermaid, half human. The children were given to paint your son's image. His death is the main thing they seek. Why? Does a witch need a reason to feed on the innocent? I found out later that they were thrown in the river. Certain death, I assumed. But Obidike's love for you grew. I was frustrated. You gave him nothing. But he gave you all. If he loves you more than he loves you already, he will not be himself. Nani, I do not want him to be himself. I want him to myself. Do it for me. As you choose.
take one drop of this in his backwater and his heart will be your slave. One drop. Thank you very much. If a drop could work that well, I decided to pour it all to be on the safe side. By morning, <laughs> Obidike, my husband, was dead. I blamed you. If you had allowed him to love me a little, he would have been alive today. You killed my husband. Stop <laughs> it. I. You hurt me, Stark. I. <laughs> the promise made is now kept. Mother, your children. So she was. Yes, yeah, she sought to drown that which is one with the river. You saw the light of the day at the market of iniquity and darkness. Mother! 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 No! No! Please! 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 Let my life is spared as well. Forgive me. Please spare. Please forgive me. Take my life is spared. Stop it. Ada. We were without kids for five years. My husband stood by me, though his family wanted him to take another wife. One certain day, I went to the stream because I was depressed. I cried my heart out. I accused God of being unfair to me. One child I begged in my heart. 
one, then I will be fulfilled. <sighs> that was when I found my daughter here, nestled in between the rocks in the river, protected by an unseen hand. We took her in. And we named the house Amaka. The good road. And she lived up to that name. A year later, I was pregnant with a child. And subsequently, had four more. I'm glad. My mother always said the river blessed her with someone else's child so she could have hers. And people always wondered why I never drowned in the river. You were meant to live, not die. My story is similar. My father went to the police station to bail one of his workers when I was brought in. A child rescued from the river in Otolo Newi. One look into my eyes and he knew he was to take me home. He and my mother, sorry, they took care of me like I was theirs. My foster mother was called Barry, but when I was brought into the family, she started to conceive. They told me everything about myself, but nothing about my real mother. But now... You are home. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Your seeds have been blessings to others. And now, you're back. <laughs> the promise made, the promise fulfilled. Have you? What? Has he? <laughs> no, 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 no. We, we believed in abstinence and nothing happened between us. I bless the earth and the heavens. What would you want your daughter to Ah, daughter. <laughs> <laughs> you earned the right to call her yours. Ozamaka, here is your father, Obidike's house. You have every right to come and crew anytime you want. And I will not allow you to forget the people that gave you hope and helped bring you back to me. Hmm? Mama, mm. are you people ready to eat? Ah, big sis. You always want to kill us with food. And you won't let me help you. <laughs> Don't worry. Very soon. You will have your turn in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter, no, you are a blessing to me. Mama, I love you too. <laughs> 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 